They called him Steppenwolf, the end of worlds. He lived only to conquer. He's a fearful character. There's no doubt about it. I think as soon as you see him, you just know, oh, holy God, here comes trouble. Steppenwolf comes from this world called Apocalypse. It's a world of oppression and fear and war. And it's a world that's toxic, really, to the soul and to the body. And it's led by Darkseid. Darkseid is one of the primary villains of the DC universe. In the comics, Steppenwolf was an agent of Darkseid. And he was an uncle for Darkseid himself, so it was a family relationship. And also, he was subordinate to Darkseid, which is a little weird to have your nephew ruling over you. He's tried to betray Darkseid before in the comic books, and there's a lot of Shakespearean thematics to it all. It's about factions and families and betrayals and love and sacrifice. I will take my place among the new gods. There was always a certain level of elegance about the character and a presentation that I found to be intriguing about him. When they first introduced the new gods characters in comics, they were all so much larger than life, and Stephen Wolf's one of those characters really stepped out in a great way. You have the blood of the old gods in you. The old gods died. The New Gods are some of the greatest characters in the DC Universe, created by Jack Kirby when he came to DC in the 70s. He decided he's going to create his own world, and so he created the fourth world and just completely added this whole other epic real estate onto the DC Universe in a way that no one else has really done. So when he created the fourth world, not only did he create New Genesis and Apocalypse, but he created mother boxes and boom tubes and Metreon's chair, all these like crazy ideas, and no one knows where they came from. That was the magic of Jack's mind. I know, Mother, you've waited too long for the unity. I know, but you will feed. A mother box, it's all about energy and power. It could be limitless, you know, it can communicate, it can sense life and death, and it can rearrange molecular energy, it can transport, which is great because it's a fantastic method of surprising people, isn't it? It's the best way. You go like, what was that? Steppenwolf's powers are mostly physical more than any form of mental agility. He has been on this world way back in time. He basically refers to the people on it as primitive and unevolved. Even though you do have these superheroes with all these extraordinary powers, he still believes they're rather primitive. So that's why in the end you have five or six superheroes ganging up on him. It's not really fair fight, let's be honest. Thank you.